In today's fast-paced society, it becomes all the more challenging to find that special someone. After all, everyone needs someone to love, right? When well, we stroll the campus of Cleveland Community College to find some of your best pickup lines, we hope these will help you out. Hey girl, let me butter your rolls. Hey babe, do you live in a cornfield? Because I'm stalking you. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Did you eat Lucky Charms for breakfast because you're magically delicious? Was that an earthquake? Because, baby, you just rocked my world. Was that love at first sight, or should I walk by again? The word of the day is legs. Now why don't we go back to my place and spread the word? Did it hurt when, when you fell from heaven? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, there you have some of the best pickup lines. If that doesn't help, we also found the inside scoop on some of the very best places to meet your match in our area. On the beach. I'd have to say a Zumba class, or the gym, you know, workout. At an anime convention, or a comic book convention, or a Star Wars convention. Johnson and Wells. It's a South Park Mall in Charlotte. Best place to meet someone is at college. The best place to meet a girl is at the movies. Best place to meet somebody, e Harmony. There you go. Right here, or any other college, because there's the smart ones that are going to make you all the money. So we just showed you how to meet and pick up your special someone, but you may be asking, how do you sustain a relationship and make things work? Well for that, we interviewed a married couple who can answer these questions and give you tips on the subject. How long have you been together? We met in August of 2000. So that's how long? 14, 14 years. 14 years. <laughs> in August. Okay, what do y'all do for fun? We play on the computer. Watch TV. Fish. Play with the grandkids. How did you two meet? I worked at a police department in Cherville. And, and I worked at a police department in Kings Mount. And I was a dispatcher. And when they didn't have anybody to help them, they called me and asked for my help. And I met Chad on the telephone. What is your definition of a good relationship or marriage? Communication. Definitely. Absolutely, communication. You have to be able to talk to your partner. Spending time together and doing a lot of things together. Definitely being friends, being open with each other and sharing things together. What does your status say on Facebook? Currently, my status says, did in someone get Matthew some cookies and juice? Mom, at this moment, if we looked at your Facebook, what would your relationship status say? Married to Chad Burnett. Married to Nancy Burnett, and it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like most about Chad? His eyes. He's got a great sense of humor. Wonderful personality. I, I always like somebody that makes me laugh. Chad, what most appeals to you about Nancy? Nothing. <laughs> 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 well, see, I was ready for the other question. <laughs> the best characteristic of Nancy? Her ability to be a great wife and a great mother and grand grandmother. Such lies, I'll tell you. Nancy, what is the best memory you have with Chad? Spending lots of time hanging out at Moss Lake when we first started dating. Alright, Chad, what is the best memory you have with Nancy? <laughs> what things have changed over the years during your marriage? Her children. Our weight. <laughs> Definitely children, too. We've got one added to the bunch now. We have a granddaughter. As they get older, they get dumber. In the last month, how many selfie, couple selfies have you guys taken? Four. And is that your profile picture on Facebook? Negative. Chad, what is your favorite thing to do as a couple? Um, probably shoot firearms together. All right, Nancy. What's your favorite thing to do as a couple? Mm, I like to just hang out at home, watch movies. Chad, what has changed the most since you've been married? The cost of living. As the children grow and get older. Well, I want to say they get dumber. <laughs> and I mean, it's just <laughs> a fact. Expensive. Yeah, it's, it's just a fact. So, Nancy, what has changed the most in your 14 years of marriage? Um, in the beginning of a relationship, everything's wonderful and fun and new and exciting and 
after you've been married 14 years, it's just kind of a friendship and a coexistence, kind of. You just become content with each other and just level out. Chad, what would you have to say? What she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, there you have it for dating and how to meet that special someone. To quote the great Tacorius Aminek, if you're making a conscious effort, someone should be meeting you on the same page. Don't be silly. Be smart. Back to you, Chris.